Hey, this is Colin with iBuyCameras.net. Just wanted to do a quick video review of the Mamiya RZ Pro 2 system. I've got two of them here. This one with the AE Prism Finder, which does both spot and average metering. And I've got this one here with the standard waist level finder and no built-in light meter. So you're probably going to be using a handheld light meter with this camera. Um, I also have the handle grip on this one, so it functions more as an SLR with the AE Prism Finder and the grip. I tend to shoot a lot more SLRs and range finders, so this one works a lot better for me. With this one, you're going to be composing, looking down on the image. Um, just a little more cumbersome overall, and uh, I tend to shoot this one more often. Not to say this is a bad way to go, um, I just like this one better also going to be using the handheld light meter on this so um, this is really a pro system it's very modular you're going to be able to build a camera system that really works for you and your photographic style tons of different lenses for this camera system 37 millimeters all the way through 500 millimeters there's a 140 millimeter macro lens and a 100 to 200 millimeter zoom lens uh, a couple different finders for it uh, 120 and 220 backs for this system. You're able to switch film mid-roll. Um, really unparalleled build quality on this camera. Uh, read a couple different reviews and talked to a couple different pros that have been shooting with them for a number of years. Dropped their camera um, while on a shoot and were able to pick it up and finish shooting with the camera. So uh, really a pro system, unparalleled build quality. Uh, it's got a bellows focusing system on it, so you're able to focus very closely if you're into macro work or something like that. Really awesome. Uh, you're going to be able to blow your images up uh, or enlarge your images to basically any size that you need uh, because of the size of this negative. Uh, no digital camera can touch this camera uh, in terms of photographic sharpness and quality. Uh, I will say some cons of this system is that it's very large, very heavy. Um, it's not a camera you're going to you know, use for snapshots or something like that. Most people use this camera on a tripod. If you are going to hand hold it, you probably want to have some sort of grip on it. Uh, this camera here weighs about seven pounds. This one here with the 180 millimeter lens, you're looking at closer to eight pounds. Um, so without the grip, I find it a little bit tough to hand hold and, and kind of manipulate. Uh, that just makes it a lot easier, more functional camera for me anyways. Um, but all around a really, really great system. Uh, if you're looking for a medium format system, uh, this is one to definitely look at. Like I said, very modular. You're going to be able to build a system that really works for you. Really known for the build quality of this camera. Um, pretty much unparalleled. Uh, also, if you are a flash user, um, you're going to be able to sync your flash at all shutter speeds. Um, all the way up to a 1 400th of a second. So that's a big plus um, for a lot of, a lot of photographers. Um, like I said, I like this one on the left with the AE Prism Finder. It is going to set you back another two to three hundred dollars um, if buying used, and that's just based on condition and eBay prices. Um, <clears throat> great system, known for its build quality, sharpness of lenses, how modular it is. As I said before, it is heavy, so it's not your snap shooter's camera, but the images that come out of this camera are pretty much unparalleled. Can't go wrong with the Mamiya RZ Pro 2 system. Check us out at iBuyCameras.net. We pay more than KEH, B&H, and Adorama. Thanks a lot. This is Colin.